good uh, morning to you all. In the presentation today, a short video highlighting their efforts in the last 60 days were presented. A representative from the COVID-19 National Operations Center gave an update on the health facilities, training including operations and logistics so far. Though much has been done to combat COVID-19, the threat still remains high. Externally, the threat remains very, very high. Um, in fact, as of um, this morning, uh, the WHO reports that our nearest uh, neighbor, Indonesia, um, um, Philippines, and especially um, Singapore have been reporting very, very, very high cases. Since the establishment of the state of emergency, the task force team with support from various stakeholders have been enforcing SOE orders on city residents. Some of their activities include the establishment of the testing and isolation centers, including checks at all entry points, and with state of emergency affecting lives of people, a food bank donation was set up to assist people in need of food. NCD Deputy Governor Dari Toka Jr. said these preventive measures must continue. Let's continue this prevention exercise. Um, uh, we're on the front foot. It, it's, it's not over yet. And, and I think uh, we're, we're, with this exercise that we're pushing, uh, it, it's affecting other health issues that we have. Um, uh, that, that are ongoing, like TB, if, if, if I can just name one. Um, uh, so in, in the long run, I, I think this is a fantastic and, 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 I, and I look forward to more discussions. On the policing front, Metropolitan Superintendent Pero Drono says the police were faced with the challenge of carrying out normal policing duties whilst answering SOE orders are followed. He challenged all stakeholders to work together with police under this new normal. We need support. If we can maintain the status quo with uh, um, COVID-19 as it is now, we can do the same in law and order in the, country, in, in the city. Why don't we contribute together as well, like this one, this forum, to address law and order? Whilst a lot has been done to combat COVID-19, they are also faced with many challenges. These challenges have helped to pave a way forward for the country. NOC 19 representative Dr. Kendino says a pandemic bill 2020 is now being developed on how to live with COVID-19 going forward. Consultations are ongoing to finalize this document so we can have a, to continue to ensure our health system can continue our response and is ready to take on, on any potential outbreaks. Acting City Manager Frank Ravu, in thanking all stakeholders for their efforts, says this partnership must continue to ensure the city is safe. Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News. Uh, this time we'll give an opportunity to uh, open member. The